And good morning and welcome to Your Boat Counts. John Eccles, Jason Dunnington, and note to media, the biggest story in the country is this border situation. It seems like there's not a lot of news about how to fix this here in Oklahoma. We're going to spend an entire segment on this. The border impasse in Oklahoma. Break it down for us. Yeah, well, we talked about this issue last week, and it's just not an issue that's going to go away right now. And part of the problem is, is that elected officials for decades have just not brought this up. They've kicked a the can down the road. And here we are at this impasse where the average U.S. citizen or the average Oklahoma citizen believes that you're either for entirely open borders or you're for a border that's wrapped in barbed wire with individuals that are ready to shoot people that come across. It, it doesn't have to be either or. It is a complex issue and one that needs um, adults in the room to deal with. We have people that are working on that, but now we have people that are trying to undermine that process. It's a big deal and it affects us in the state. Okay, yeah, you hit it. There are some people that want to make it a campaign issue, but it is an issue for people in this part of the country. Yeah, it is. And, and here's what's happened. Texas took over Eagle Pass, one of the major border crossings, over 100,000 undocumented immigrants in one month, and they closed it in two days. For some unknown reason, the federal government is suing the state of Texas so they can reopen the border. Don't, don't miss the lead here. When they sued the state of Texas, they misspelled, thank you. We can't do our job. Thank you for doing our job. This is a big deal in the state of Oklahoma. Number one, it shows the border can be secured if we want to. But number two, these lawsuits, they're going to cost President Biden the election because you can't pretend anymore you want to keep the border closed whenever the border's closed and you're suing to reopen it. Okay, you bring up a good point. We have a United States senator been working on this for a very long time. Looked like there was a deal. There are some people who are saying this thing's just not going to get done this year because it's an election year issue. Your thoughts? Yeah, it, it needs to get done this year. And we talked about this last time. And uh, we have Senator Lankford who's working very hard on this issue. Uh, House Republicans are figuring out how they're going to handle it. What I would say is everyone calm down. There's not even language yet in any type of border deal. Yes, the border has to be closed, but also we need to fix our immigration system. Our immigration system is broke. We need to have a legitimate path to citizenship. I don't understand why the vast majority of America gets that, but D.C. doesn't seem a way to do it. So I hope we let Senator Langford and the rest of the senators keep doing what they're doing. Let's look at the final product and decide where we go. But something has to be done on the border. You can't be a country with no border. That's literally the definition of what makes you a country. Okay, and my mom always asked, how do I get make sure I get lots of news about this and watch lots of stations, read lots of articles, because this is misinformation central now. Your thoughts about the politicization of this issue? Yeah, well, if we've learned anything from this, we should be reminded that the two-party system with partisan primaries is broken. It continues to send us clowns to D.C. instead of statesmen. And right now, we have someone who is literally calling U.S. senators and asking not to have this done. I don't know, maybe a former president. Uh, where there's been reports out this week, Senator Romney talked about it, um, where President Trump has called and asked, don't fix this problem because it's good for me in the campaign. This here, folks, this is the problem. That is politics. What we're talking about right now uh, is immigration, and it's been kicked down the can for decades. It needs to get fixed. Well, making it an uh, issue right to the campaign. Who'd have thunk it? Hey, we're going to come back and talk to Oklahoma about Oklahoma when we come back, and we're going to be talking about that special session that just ran off the rails. <laughs>